friends, I've had a really busy week this week. It all started Monday when I was sitting at a uh, traffic light waiting for the intersection to clear so I could go on through and out of nowhere, smack, I got rear-ended. My head broke the back window of my pickup, it bent the back of my seat, it destroyed my uh, hydraulic lift gate and crumpled the bed, also bent the frame of the truck. And uh, I'm okay, in case you're wondering, so I appreciate any thoughts on that note. Uh, anyway, uh, my truck is not so okay. It's, uh, the insurance company has told me that they're going to total it and uh, now I'm in the market for a new shop truck. Uh, because of the accident, I haven't really been very productive this week. I've been dealing with truck stuff and, uh, and that didn't make for uh, good YouTube content. Um, I do have a project coming up. I need to uh, rebuild this tool I'm going to show you here in a minute. But before we do that, I want to get to some stickers that uh, have been sent to me. Lucas over at Kermit Films has just got his new sticker out. And uh, uh, he's, a, he's a budding young YouTuber. He, uh, he does a lot of really neat things with, uh, with cameras and drones and stuff. He also sent me a, a sticker for his friend's shop called Unicorn Poop. And I haven't been over there yet, but I'll post a link to the uh, website in the, uh, in the description down below. Here's one from Rody Jeff. I met him back there uh, right before the Maker Fair in the Bay Area where I had hosted a tour of the uh, Autodesk Pier 9 facility. Uh, that was a lot of fun to meet some great folks at that thing. Um, and then uh, JB from Oz sent me a sticker. I'll post links to all their channels down below and I'll be getting some stickers back out to those folks uh, real soon. So another thing that's been a stumbling block on the creative side this last week has been the West Tech conference is coming up next week and that's going to consume my whole week next week. It's down in Los Angeles and uh, it's called, well it's the Western Technology Conference and I'm going to go down there and see all the latest and greatest uh, tools for the workshop that a guy might want. One project I do need to work on is this. This is a milling machine that I built years ago and its purpose is to cut a slot in these aluminum tubes. The way it works, I've used these electric screwdriver modules to uh, actuate things. This one rotates this whole thing. And the idea was I would come in here and cut one slot and then rotate it halfway around, cut the other slot. But then I realized that the uh, end mill I was using was plenty long enough to take the whole thing in a single pass. But it really does not do a very good job, as you can see. So I need to revamp this whole thing. So the cutter part works. The problem is all this. This is a really cheap... XY milling vise that uh, it, it's just real sloppy and the way that I was actuating it is with these uh, well there's a drill motor here and a screwdriver head transmission there tied into the lead screw and you can see it's incredibly slow Which is part of the reason it does such a poor job with the, uh, with the cut. What I need to do is build a better way for the workpiece to be fed in to the uh, milling cutter. And uh, I've got some ideas about it. I've got uh, some uh, Acme thread lead screws and I've got some of these uh, really nice uh, sliding uh, rail bearings. They're, uh, they're really high quality and this is more than enough travel to make uh, to make what I need for this thing. I'm really going to have to revamp this entire thing though because that XY vise and those screw drives and stuff uh, you know that's that's just hokey but I built that thing 25 years ago and all I had was a, a set of files, a hacksaw and a drill press at the time so uh, it, it kind of worked not that well though. It never worked that well. So that's about all for this week. Be sure and go check out these guys that sent me stickers. I'll be sending some back to them real quick. Um, I did build a few things this week. I, I did a little repair on my uh, cinder block wall over there. Some roots had grown through and lifted it about three quarters of an inch. 
and uh, I dug the roots back out, it didn't drop back down, so I just filled it with concrete. Um, I also built a roll around cart, but I was too busy building the thing to actually videotape it. In the coming week, I'm probably not going to get much built again because I'm going to be down at the West Tech Conference in Los Angeles, but I will be bringing back some very cool footage from that. I know there's going to be some some really expensive tools down there. I might even buy some, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's what's coming up this week. I will take some footage of it and get, get back with you guys. If you're in the Los Angeles area and you'd like to meet up, just send me a message. And there are a lot of ways you can do that. One is go to my website, wildman.tech. Another is find me on Instagram. My name there is also wildman.tech. Or you could just leave a comment on this video and I'll probably see it and uh, try to find a way to cross paths with you. Anyway, that's all for this week. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're in Los Angeles and you want to meet up, please reach out to me. I'll be down there all week. Anyway, click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.